hi it's Kelly again we are on the second part of our mixed media class and what you're gonna need is some pieces of scrapbook paper if you go to the craft store like I had said prior you can get clearance sheets for 20 cents I mean it's ridiculous they don't have to be pretty or your type because we're gonna you're gonna see what we're gonna do with them you can get um, them at the dollar store also usually three four dollars sometimes a pack um, you can just get text you can get a book from the bookstore because you're just wanting the text you know from it we are going to have our canvas and we are going to use different I'm going to show you different things ways that you can glue these on with I'm happening I'm going to use gel medium you can use Mod Podge you can use um, collage Podge. you can use your white glue that you get from the dollar store, any store brand, whatever, you just squirt it into a container. Like again, I save every plastic container I have with the lid. And, um, or you could go to the dollar store and buy the small containers that come with the lid, like uh, Tupper made, but they're not Tupper made brand. Do you know what I mean? And um, squirt a bunch of this in there and start adding water, maybe a tablespoon at a time and just keep stirring it and stirring it until it's a you know a little bit of a not runny consistency but spreadable consistency um gosh like what cream cheese maybe you'll know it doesn't have there's no right or wrong because even if it's thicker it's not going to make a difference you want it to be able to spread nice with your um you know on your stuff so you can lay your paper down without having it to be very very thick but it's up to you this is such a great alternative. You can use a glue stick. You can use, um, you know, whatever kind of glue you have, really. Uh, I use my handy dandy brush. You can use your um, foam brushes that you can also get at a dollar store or your arts and crafts for store very inexpensively. And when you're done, rinse it out and then you'll have it for next time. Just rinse it out real good in um, cold water and squeeze it out, let it dry, and right on the wooden um, handle glue. So you know that you can use that for your glue. Does it have to be just for glue? No. Um, if you only can get one, then get one and rinse it out. When you're done, use it for paint. doesn't matter. So I'm going to bring us down here. Just bear with me a minute. Here we go. Here we go. I want to try to get everything I can in here so you guys can see. There we go. Okay. So... This is how we're going to do it. This is how we do it. You have your canvas, your paper, uh, whatever you have, right? So take your glue that you're going to use and your brush, your glue stick, your uh, whatever, your white glue, whatever you have. And let's start covering. Now, there's a million ways you can cover this. You can start by... Some people like to cover, and I'm going to just set these for, to show you. So, like, the whole canvas is covered, as you can see here. Well, basically, see here? <laughs> I just want to kind of lamp. So you get the idea. Yeah, the whole canvas is covered. You can do that. You can do it where you do pieces here and there. That'll be your choice. If you can only afford one piece of scrapbook paper and you cut it into pieces and you can only put it in so many places, I say go for it. It's all going to be beautiful when you're done. So let me just start, and I'm just going to start gluing on some paper. And it's going to be wherever I want because you don't need to worry about, and I'm just going to put the glue on the back of my paper. Turn it over and set it set it and forget it now if you have a roller a um oh gosh i can't even think what it's called right now brayer you can brayer it on if you don't i just take a paper towel and just kind of give it a little little there you go we'll put some paper down here do my glue is a little dried out it seems I think my heater is on too much down here, but it will not stop me. And it doesn't matter. I'm getting a little glue everywhere. Chances are paper will go there. If not, it'll dry and I can put over it. 
paint over it. You know, and I just take, which is a necessity to do this. You don't have to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just to flatten it. Um, you see this piece? Just going to kind of rip it at an angle. Got to take some more of my medium. Now see, this is a little thicker than I would like it, the glue. Um, so that's why you would add a little bit more water to it. Do you know what I mean? So it spreads a little bit more. Is it the end of the world? No. Is it a preference of mine? Yes. And again, if you have a brayer, more power to you, bray it. This is just to help it, the glue, go everywhere so you don't have bubbles. If you end up with bubbles, I can see I have a bubble right there. Do I care? No. Texture. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece. Do it that way. Going back in for more glue. I know this is probably so boring to watch me glue, but I love it, I love it, I love it. And if you put on some really good music and you just sit and, and create, you'll be amazed at how much fun you have. And again, there's no right or wrong of where you put the paper. You want the whole pa the whole thing covered with paper? Please, do so. It doesn't matter. This one, maybe I'll take a square, and then maybe I'll do another piece somewhere else. Do this one. Put some glue on this. This happens to be a matte medium. And I use matte because I'm going to go over it with paint and whatnot, and I want it to um, take. Where gloss medium is kind of more of a finale, you know, you really can't get that much um, other stuff on it. You can use oil paint products, um, but I don't have luck using much other. I mean, I guess glossy paints could. I've never used. I've never used that. I've always went by this rule of thumb for myself. But hey, it's all about experimentation. So, if you want to play around and try your own thing, please do. And I see. I need a little bit more glue here. If you have a glue stick that you got from the dollar store. Use that. is isn't going to hurt nobody. It's going to do the same thing I'm doing. This just happens to be the way I, I'm used to doing it. But glue stick works just as good. But you see, like, as I'm pushing out, making sure it's stuck, some of the um, medium's coming out. So if you had a gloss and you want to paint over this with regular acrylics, but I think it's time for gel medium for me to okay yeah and you can see because it's so thick I'm not getting it where I need it so I just go and see where it's lifted and I just add a little bit on there with my brush which when you're done you can go double check I just happen to see that so it happens all the time <laughs> it's not a big deal all right so then I have something like this so I'm gonna just rip it and so it's a better size for you to see. I think I might do a long thin piece over here. I don't know about you guys, but um, music and art are like hand in hand for me. Because when I, whether it's me sitting and, and drawing or practicing or doing these kind of things, I love doing backgrounds anyway. But, um, the music really can affect your mood and how you, you know, what kind of, what you come up with. I know it does for me anyway. Um, just going to tear a piece like that. For me it does because you lose yourself. You lose yourself in the music and what you're doing and you don't, you don't concentrate so much on is this right or wrong. People are so hard on themselves when they do art. And I don't really understand it because 
mixed media is so much fun and you don't have to do uh, necessarily do a face when you're starting out to do a mixed media painting as you're going to see as we continue on with this uh, class. Now you can overlap if you want. Have at it. It's yours. A little piece here. I'm going to probably tear it like that. Put some over here. You can see my ink smearing a little bit. I didn't heat set it with the um, my heat gun. I don't care because it's going to be covered. This isn't a layer that you really should be too concerned about. You already wrote your intent down. It's there. It's written. So you just want to get these papers on to add a little bit extra of a, you know, extra layer. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, I'll use that next. I use those. You can, again, if you get one piece of paper, two pieces of paper, it doesn't matter because, um, you're going to see what we're going to do with it. So it doesn't matter if you can only, have, you know, go to the dollar store and they only have one piece of paper there. It really doesn't. It will not make a, a difference at all. Or two pieces. And just you cut it up and just add. Because it's just adding texture. Book pages. Put them in a few pieces. And I don't have anything down here. So I will add... Now, for instance, if I used a glossy on this one, especially on the book paper, okay, and some of it got around the edges, when I went to apply my acrylic paint, you would see that it would resist it almost because the glossy is almost like a protector. Um, so that's why I, that's another reason why I use that. Uh, so, you know, I, I think the white purpose glue is a really great um, beginner's way to go about it because um, it's very inexpensive. You get so much bang for your buck and it's easy to make and mix and keep. So you don't have to mix it every time you go to do, you know, a piece. Again, laying over top. Ain't nothing but a thing. That's how I want it in Kelly's world. I'm going to use some of this. Just cut a piece. And eh, I'll probably put it up there. And that's probably all the paper I'm going to put on here. Again, you want to put paper on the whole thing? Please be my guest. There is no right or wrong with this. This just happens to be the way I'm doing it today. You can go and press your papers down because you want them to dry. I can see some edges drying and it might need a little bit more under there where I just didn't hit it right with the glue. You can also go back if you do use your Elmer's for instance or your white school glue rather. Um, you can go back with your glue stick once it's dry. And if you say, oh, I see this piece is sticking up, or this piece is sticking up, or this little corner right here is sticking up, and use your, matter of fact, I'll do that. And then you can just use your little glue stick, whatever brand you like, and run it on there so you don't have to break out, you know, your glue and paintbrush and all that again. So that's a great tip also to use for, let's see, I see over here. You know, you just kind of smear it on and put it down. And you don't have to break everything out and everything's on there. Okay, now make sure you snap your lid back on because I've been known to do that and go use it again and it's dried out. So, here's this next phase. We got our papers on it. Now what do we do next? Okay, I'm going to take my paintbrush that I used and clean it off real quick in my water. Give it a kind of squish a squish. Take my paper towel and kind of wipe off the brush. So there's no glue and then one more time in the water and then dry it. Just like this, nothing fancy. You can get the paper towels at the dollar store. 
ra I have so many rags sitting around here of old things that just don't work anymore. <laughs> you know, old uh, towels and kitchen towels, you know, ones that you'd be ashamed to show anybody. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to get white acrylic paint. And if you don't want to use white acrylic paint, you can use a like titanium beige. If you don't want to do that, you can use your gesso, white gesso if you don't have. Okay? So for this one, I'm going to use, this is called unbleached titanium, and it's a beige, as you can see. doesn't matter what brand comes in. Every brand, every little craft paint has it. And here comes the fun part. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a squirt here and here and here and here and here and here and here. Okay. Now these come in handy. These are what you use to put drywall on the walls. So if you don't have, which is a must if you're a mixed media artist, and you can get these at the um, home improvement store I heard for a penny. So, but I have old gift cards. Or you can just buy very inexpensively at the dollar store or your home improvement store. Plastic spackle knife. Now, can you use your brush? Yes. Or you could just do, depending on what kind of look you're looking for. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to take it all kinds of different ways. And just keep scraping until I'm happy. And if you see some of your paper coming up now because, you know, whatever, you, did, you missed it or whatever, it's no harm. You can go back and glue that again once this part's dry. Let's get, well, I didn't want to put my brush in there. And I'm going to scrape that. So we get it covered. I'm going to wipe the excess off my card because be, you'll see me use that a lot. Go in with my brush that I had washed off the glue and it's dry, but, you know, damp, but, and just kind of, because I want to get a little bit on here so I get some of the color shining through. And then go with my towel because I want to see parts of it. You don't have to do every single one. If you want it a little bit cleaner, like you see this pink down here, I'd give a little spray of water. Take my towel, and I probably would use a new paper towel only because this has all this wet paint in my hands and everything on it. But you'll see if you give it one swipe, just one way, you see the, the brightness that comes through. Let's say we want to do this one over here. Just give it that one swipe. Whoops. See? And you can start picking up. A little bit of the texture underneath. Here's our. Now, do you have to do this? No, you don't. Are we worried about these white pieces that are shining through? Nope. Everything's going to get covered. Let's see what's down. I don't even know what I put here. Let's give this a swipe. Yeah, just a little swipe. A little swipe. And you have just done your next layer on your canvas. So you can use your heat gun to dry this, or you can leave it dry. And in the next video, we will be adding some more fun stuff. You just had a, you have two layers, three layers actually. You have your written layer, your scrapbook layer, and your first paint layer. So let me hold this up. And you can see it's obviously still wet. No, 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 no. Now, if you used white, yours would, you know, you'll have a white base. The point is, is just to have fun with it.
Fingerprints don't matter. Everything adds texture. There you go. No. So, there we go. That is the next layer. And I will see you in video three. Thank you.